some of uh, the emotions be from a past life that we need to deal with in this life? And in a previous talk, which you might like to look at, I've said there is no past lives. Yeah. But um, many of the emotions are, the, the reason why many people feel there are past lives is that there's, there are spirits attached to them. And those spirits have their own law of attraction. And those spirits are certainly attached to you through your law of attraction too. So, for instance, if, it, if you get a feeling that you've had a past life and you were some, you know, murdered in a past life and you had a certain feeling of terror associated with that, then that terror was the law of attraction that attracted the spirit to you. And it's that emotion, the soul condition inside of you, that have made that attraction occur. Does that make sense? Right, so everything is based still on the law of attraction. What's happening between you and even in the spirit world is due to the law of attraction. Everything. So if, if somebody comes up to you and says, oh, you've got three spirits with you and one of them is really angry with men and one of them is really angry like, about this issue and one's really sad, all you need to do is say, all right, I'm really angry with men. I'm really, these are my law of attractions. Does that make sense? Just like they would be here on earth. Same, same thing. What you're attracted attracting you will attract both in spirit world and in here here on the earth and you will attract spirits from the spirit world with the same law of attraction that you attract people on earth to you as well how many of you had an event last week which caused a little bit of anger right, to rise in you most of us right? okay that was your law of attraction and in fact, your anger was your resistance to the law of attraction. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, does everyone understand the difference between what I'm saying and what you've probably been taught about the law of attraction? The law of attraction is not something you can mentally construct. It's something that happens at the soul condition, which is to do with your emotions, your passions, your desires. Everything that's happening inside of you is what governs your law of attraction. So everyone understands that? Okay. Now,